What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode two of the Applesauce Podcast. We're sticking with Applesauce, by the way. Uh, the only game podcast where we say right off the bat, fuck the all right. Fuck them. And fuck anyone who associates themselves with Gamergate. Fuck them. Did, did we not do fuck them already? I do it for both of them. No, I'm saying, but I'm pretty sure you did fuck them three times. No. You ruined the consistency. I didn't. On playback, watch. You're gonna you're gonna hear it. You're okay. gonna hear it. Well, anyway, regardless of the fact, my name is Vic, and joining me, as always, two episodes in by the way, is my co-host Manny. Can you put a couple more forty fives on this rack because these weights are too light, man. What is going on? Not that much, you know. Same old, same old every Sunday. <laughs> it's like, do you do you, you don't do anything on Sunday? No. It's mostly just for gaming. Sundays is well, football actually. Yeah, it's the off season now. NFL draft just happened. This is it. We might cover that in the future. You think so? No, we will. Oh yeah. Are yeah. you committing to it I'm now? I'm committing to an NFL podcast. Yes. Wait, what sort of podcast is it going to be though? Predictions. How the week went. I mean, I'm not. I'm not like a guru, but yeah, sounds like it's, that sounds like it's it anything be about being a guru. We love that sounds football. like it'll be fun. We love the NFL. If I can talk about the NFL. I'm happy. Okay. All right. I have no problems with that. But, man, the NFL draft was crazy. Daniel Jones to the Giants. I don't know what the fuck they're thinking, man. Jeez. And yes, it was the biggest letdown of the, of the draft. That was. No other team let me down more than the Giants this, this weekend. What well, done this weekend? This past week. Mm, somebody traded two spaces back. It got you upset. The Redskins got Monte Sweat. There you go. <laughs> but, um... The Raiders reached, oh my goodness, did they reach for Cleveland Farrell. Mike Mike Mayock said, you know what, he wants foundational pieces, good character people. And, you know, he played, I think, college for three years. He won two national champions. I think he's going to be all right, man. I Hopefully. We're getting off topic, though. <laughs> Just save that for the podcast. Yes. But yeah, anyway, so, because I forgot this is a gaming podcast. Yes, it is. All right. We're just going to talk a little bit about some news that caught our attention. I wanted to talk about the Nintendo Investors meeting. Mm-hmm. I couldn't get everything that I wanted to talk about. so, And I don't want to misinform anybody. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to tackle that topic this week. One thing, though. They outsold the N64. The Switch, right? Yes. Life to date. Finally uh, sold, sold more than the N64 did. What uh, you know? What's gonna be next after that? What's the next milestone for them? The SNES. The SNES was that like forty nine? Give me. I just had the numbers too. God, you're so unprepared, man. I I'm hate you. I'm not unprepared. <laughs> what do you have? I have some notes, but I mean that's all. I think I think one of the dogs is trying to get in. So we had to uh, stop it real quick. Where I don't know if you guys can hear it, but Sparky's in the room now. He was clawing at the door, and yeah, he's he's going a little crazy. But yeah, um, the NES or the SNES? Uh, the SNES. Forty nine million, right? Forty nine point one million, yes. Yeah, so I think it's gonna I think it's gonna outsell the SNES too. But I got I want to I want to talk about this news. But after that is the NES sixty one million, the three DS has seventy five million. Mm-hmm. And the Game Boy Advance at eighty one million. Gosh, I still remember when the three DS came out, man. How dry I thought it was. I only had but, like man, three games. Turned it around though. Steel Diver and uh, Pilot Wings was it? Pilot, yeah, man. Steel Diver, Steel Diver was dope though. Not the first one. Oh yeah, the I'm thinking about the eShop. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. The free to play one was amazing. That one was pretty cool. But I want to talk about this news, like I was saying, because it. it it hurts me, all right? Atlas broke my heart this past week. I thought it. um, I thought I was going to have waifus on the go on my Switch. I know there's other options, but I was kind of rooting for this one. So, Persona 5S, right, was something that Atlas has been te- teasing for a while now. And a lot of the internet rumors were going... Persona 5S can only be one thing. The Switch version. Uh-huh. 
unfortunately, Persona 5 S didn't stand for Persona 5 Switch. It stood for Persona 5 Scramble. And <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm trying to fight the tears. So Persona 5 Scramble is actually a Persona 5 Muso game. I think I'm saying the word right, but that's how I'm going to say it for the rest of the show. A Muso game. Uh, it's being developed by Omega Force. You know, they made Hyrule Warriors and Fire Emblem Warriors. So, you know, after the initial disappointment, I'm, I'm still going to get the game. Because, you know, those guys know what they're doing, especially working on the Switch. But, man, I, I, I got caught in the hype, man. And you were telling me earlier, I have a note here that said, that I wrote, that I don't get caught up in the hype. But you exposed that real quick. <laughs> you do, that's why. So, God, man, I mean, I was just, I wanted it to happen, man. You know, we've got Joker and Smash. Mm-hmm. You know, I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. What, what do you think about Persona 5 Scramble? Uh, I don't play Persona games like that, honestly. I've only ever played Persona Q on the V3. Yes, yeah. And the only reason I play it, though, it's because it's, like, one of my favorite series, Etrian Odyssey. Yeah. I think you should play more Persona. I think it'll make you a more... A better, decent... A better human being. Why? Just... You know, it teaches you about, you know, friendship and how to interact with people. It's it, it, it's a good game. <laughs> I don't believe you. I mean, do you remember how I was before Persona 4? Weird. How am I after Persona 4? Weird. I mean, if you say so. But Persona 5 Scramble's coming to Switch and PS4. Um, personally, I'm going to get it on the Switch, of course. Okay. My um, is not coming out to the Xbox. Right. They should, they should have put it on the Xbox. But alongside that, actually, they also announced Persona 5 The Royals. Persona 5 The Royals is it's an expanded version of Persona 5, and it brings a new character, a new Phantom Thief, because you haven't played it, but they're called Phantom Thieves. Okay. You probably feel so left out right now. I don't. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so they added a Phantom Thief. They, they're building on the social links. I think they're adding another dungeon. and they're, third semester. And, in the third semester as well. I think they didn't announce a price, right? No. But I think because it's Atlas, it's probably going to be $60. You're I mean, right. they charged $50 for some 3DS games, so yeah. I mean, I still bought them. Shin Megami Tensei 4 was worth it. And so I mean, was the sequel. I mean, yeah, but it's like it. I thought it was going to be DLC, honestly. I heard that a lot of people were a little disappointed that it's a whole new re-release, but I mean, from the trailer, it looks like they're going to add a lot of stuff, especially with the character in the third semester. So you'll probably have a lot more time to finish whatever you couldn't originally on the on the first game. Yeah, but people's complaint about the first game was that it was too long. What is it, over 100 hours? I'm not sure, but most of uh, I've never played the game, but most of the complaints that I've heard is that it's way too long. Yeah, I longer know. than it should be. I know it's over a hundred hours for sure, but I never got to beat the first one. I think I only got to like the first dungeon. I think I might get back in with the Royals, but I mean, I said it last week. It's hard for me to like sit down and actually play an RPG on the screen. I'd rather play everything on the Switch. <laughs> I mean, it makes my commute better, sure. <laughs> right, these hour-long commutes. Um. But yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to both games. I'm still going to need a little more information for the Royals, but I think I'm going to get it on the PS4. I mean, it's the only one available. And it's, and it's 4K, which is the TV that I got. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what to say to that. <laughs> Sometimes you got to flex on these people. But outside of flexing on them, right? Last bit of uh, news about Persona 5. It's coming in, in 2020. I thought I thought they would have released something like that this year, but it's coming out in Japan this year, and then it's coming out in America next year, which is I don't know, it's a little far from now. <laughs> I'll probably be way too busy playing the the newer games. But other news did come out. Mortal Kombat 11 on Switch, it got an update. I was reading this on wait when yesterday. I didn't play yesterday, so I wouldn't. Know. Yeah, I haven't updated my Mortal Kombat game. I don't even have it. <laughs> I just remembered. 
Yeah, so according to the subreddit somebody from Warner Brothers posted it, that uh there was an update and this includes, you know, balance to characters and gameplay, some audio updates, overall stability improvements, and the always vague general fixes. We streamed this game Friday. Yeah, we did. For uh-huh. about three hours, right? I think so. Pretty sure. More and or less. One of my complaints from the game was it had a lot of trouble transitioning from the fights into the cutscenes. Oh, you yeah, know, it had the little stutter. It had it some stops. stutters, some hitches. So hopefully we'll check it out soon again. Oh, Maybe mm-hmm. they fixed a couple of those things. I'm definitely checking that. I'm, I'm going to finish the story. Are you going to keep streaming the story? Yes. We're going to keep streaming the story. Yes. So we're horrible at Mortal Kombat. Oh my god, we're so bro. I had no idea we were that bad at Mortal Kombat. In my defense, I don't play fighting games like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but um, the guy, the guy had a interesting comment on the stream that we were playing with Joy Cons. I'm gonna give that a shot, actually. No, two play with Joy Cons. We were playing on the gamepad. We were playing with the pro controller. Yeah, yeah. And he was wondering if we were playing on Joy Cons. I think I might try that the next time we play. Yes, because I was accidentally jumping. Yeah, I was I was seeing the jump button a lot. I don't know if that's just my oversized thumb or maybe it's just with the D-pad. No, it, it is. Everybody will tell you it's because of the D-pad. Oh, yeah? That's everybody's complaint about the gamepad. It's the D-pad. All right. So, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely continue to stream because yes, we'll. I'm invested. I don't play too many Mortal Kombat games, but I love the lore of Mortal Kombat. But moving on, we're going to talk a little bit about the games that we've been playing this past week. All right. To no shock, Dragon's Dogma, and we were just talking about it, Mortal Kombat. Yes. What are your thoughts on Dragon's Dogma real quick? It's a great port. It runs great. I think it's a flat 30. Mm-hmm. Uh, graphics look... I mean, the graphics, I'm not going to complain about the graphics. And uh, honestly, my only complaint is the poppins. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say that about my impressions on the game. I played and played a little bit past the intro. You've gotten a little more far than I have, but I've played that intro twice already, <laughs> three times. Because of uh, what again? Uh, I missed the quest and then I messed up my pawn. Your pawn? Yes. What happened with the pawn? Uh, she, she came out horrible. It was <laughs> she was a bad character? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So um, I did the intro where the dragon just like rips you apart and takes your heart and eats it um which is a little dramatic honestly that I mean that that's the farthest i've gone in dragon's dogma by the way i didn't play too much on steam like the first five minutes <laughs> that's not the first five minutes that's a good man anyway anyway <laughs> i'm not gonna have this argument with you uh yeah i thought the game ran well it's uh, a lot of fun to you know jump on a chimera and beat the shit out of a snake the hydra the the snake part of a chimera. Oh, I thought you were talking about the hydro. You just ruined a part of the game for me. Uh, I'm I hope. so sorry. Wow. Okay. Spoilers for that old game, right? I mean, yeah, it's an old game. <laughs> I hate you sometimes. <laughs> well, I'm just going to be honest, man. If, if the game is older than five years... Old bats are off. On. Yeah, old bats you, are off. You shouldn't even... No. Okay, all right, all right. Sorry. But yeah. Uh, you, I haven't really played too many quests, but the game's a lot of fun, man. It is. What are you playing? What are you playing right now? Uh, besides, Dra- well, first of all, I'm, I'm streaming some of Dragon the Dogma, mm-hmm. and in my last stream, I had one person who was direct because they were directing me through a quest that I was having so much trouble in. Yeah. Cause I decided to do a quest that I'm thinking I could do it with my one pawn, and this person's like, "No, stupid! You need more people and bombs." <laughs> So, as they were helping me, I went from 120,000 gold to 20,000 gold. Jeez. Why? I had to, because re- I recruited the pawns, and then yeah. I bought them health items, and I bought them bombs. And, I, I like, before I did that, though, I mm-hmm. cheesed my way through most of the mission. Yeah. <laughs> but then there was a third troll that you have to fight, and uh-huh. I did not expect that to happen. Okay, still spoiling it. Go ahead. I'm sorry. All right. I mean, the, I'm game, kidding, I'm the games come out three times now. All right. And then yeah. after the third troll, there's some thieves that you also have to fight. 
and it did not go well for me. Some thieves? Yes. Did they beat you up? No. I mean, I died, yes. <laughs> but see, the thing is, right, I went in through the back. Yeah. It's where I should have gone through the front, where I can take off the thieves, take out the thieves first, and then maybe have a chance with the troll by himself. But no, I went through the back, and I faced two trolls immediately, wasted all my health items. Jeez. Decided to open the door, thinking, ah, oh, this is the end of the mission. There was a third troll, and I decided to run away, but I ran into the into the thieves. And they just, they were like, you're not running from nobody. So they got you. Yes. <laughs> and then the person who was watching my stream was like, what are you doing with only just you and your pawn? Oh, okay, so this is before... Yes. You recruited more people. Okay, all right, all right. I thought you had failed, even though they gave you all this advice. No, no. Uh, no my only failures came from when it was just me and my pawn. All right. How many can you have? Uh, in total, three pawns. Yours and then two more. Okay, cool, cool. So, yes, this person was like, what are you doing? Go get some help. I mean, just like, they, they stopped short of calling you an idiot, right? Yes. But, I mean, hey, you know, some people, they... they Tough love, you know? Yeah, it was tough love. Uh, but it, it worked out at the end. I failed it. Uh, I think I failed it like four times before they decided to be like, I'm tired of watching you die. Here's some tips. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I went to get the pawns. Yeah. I got the bombs. I got the health items. And immediately cleared it. It was like one super clean, cleared mission. Cool. Another game we've been playing. And I, I, want, I want to speak about this. Mortal Kombat, right? Yeah. I know. This Mortal Kombat is a heavy theme this episode. <laughs> we were playing and we started laughing because we heard somebody's voice during a cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. Because everybody around this one voice sounds so professional, but hers just, like, I feel like she recorded it in a closet in her house. Who was it again? It's uh, Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. Oh, my goodness. And it, it, like, it's, not, it's weird because her voice actually sounds... Not as good as everybody's. Yeah. Like quality wise. Mm -hmm. But she also shows no emotions in her life. No emotions, man. Uh, uh, that last cousin that we saw her. When it, I'm not trying to spoil the story. Yeah. But it's supposed to be a touching moment. And <laughs> you know, the funny thing is that her face looks like she's going through the emotions, but her voice sounds like somebody dubbed over it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I, I would never understand why companies give Ronda Rousey the time of day. Honestly, she should have lost her relevance the moment she got kicked in the face <laughs> and lost that fight. Man, but, I mean, let's not be mean to the lady, but she should have lost her relevance. What do you mean not be mean to the lady? Mean, that's not that. Okay. That, she did a lot of things. <laughs> Bad, but not the, the kick to the face is not the one they built. That's why we have to... That's why she's... No, she's irrelevant. Or she should be because of the other dumb shit that she says. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, what, to me, what, the kick to the face is just like the sugar on top, you know? The cherry on top? The cherry on yeah, top. There you go. Uh, yeah, but like, she's what? She's a... A Sandy Hook truther. There you go. She's She hates trans trans uh, people. Women. Specifically women. She's a, Specifically uh, women? a turf, I think. Right? Turf. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> she's a turf. Um, yeah, she's a Sandy Hook truther. She thinks 9-11 was an inside job. Um, and she, was she arrested for domestic violence? Uh, not that I know of. But it, she was. I mean, she, she, she has done, she has committed domestic violence on her ex-boyfriend. Oh, I, I mean, well, you had, you had all this, all this shit that she's done, right? And on top of that, she's a terrible performer. Yeah, anybody who's seen the WWE will tell you that. There's, yeah. like, like, there's no way you watch the WWE and be like, Ronda Rousey's amazing. Yeah, and it's just like, you, you add all these things together, I don't understand why people still give it a fucking time of day. Um, I, I want to know who at WB was like, yes, that's who we need. <laughs> the thing is that the last Sonya voice was amazing. I, I missed out on that, so I, I wouldn't be able to say. But, I mean, how do you think she feels, though? Who? The, the last person who voiced Sonya. Probably the same way that we felt. Bro, we were literally dying during the stream just because of how terrible she was. Can, she, can, can you imagine the news, though, when she read it? Oh, wow. Who's playing Sonya now? I am? Nope. Ronda Rousey. <laughs> <laughs> Ronda, Ronda Rousey's playing Sonya, and it's... That that sentence 
and her performance are just I don't know, man. I don't know, it's it's crazy to me. But Mortal Kombat is still a great game. It's just that she she just almost kills the story for me because she she is playing a pretty big role right now. Yeah, she so far. Sony Blade. Yeah, <laughs> Sony Blade. <laughs> no, you're right. But man, I just I can't get over it, man. Every scene she's in, I'm just like, why, why, why did someone did you know did the voice in, heard it and was like, okay, yeah, this this sounds pretty good. The the thing is too right that she talks to Cassie or Cassandra. Yeah. And she is amazing. Yeah. Like yeah, the she's voice cool. actress for Cassandra okay, yeah. is amazing. And the thing the first time you hear uh, Sonya talking is. To Casey, yeah. So they, that's how the <laughs> the game pretty much opens up. Like that's the first fight, and it's just God, it's so it's so jarring, man. I don't understand why they did it. Like it, it makes the the the, the cutscenes hilarious to me. Yeah. Like when she's there, I'm laughing because she's so bad. But before before we move on, right? I I, I don't feel like we talked about it enough. She's a terrible person. Oh, definitely. <laughs> She's a piece of shit. Yes. She's a Sandy Hook truther. Yeah. I think that 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 right there is the I'm like, eh, ah, okay. I and think she, she's going to be the first person that we can specify. We can say specifically, fuck Ronda Rousey. Fuck her. And uh outside of Mortal Kombat, right? Let's let's put Mortal Kombat to rest for now. I yeah. think it, like I said, it's been way too much of a heavy theme here. I uh, I was walking around and I saw you playing uh, Dawn of Survivors. Yes. You've been you've been putting in a couple of hours into this game. Yes, I've also been helping people who leave comments on the videos, and uh, on my Twitter. Are they lost on in the game? Not lost, but they ask where I get certain weapons or how did I open the door to a certain building. Okay, so it's it's open world. Uh, it's not open world. It's it's weird because uh, it has a big map where you can go to, but within that, it's like a little. Sandbox, I guess. A okay. very small sandbox. All right, all right. It's more of a sandboxy kind of game. Um, is there is there player versus player? Yes. What kind of? Uh, you can team up, but every person I've ran into tries to kill me. I try. To... <laughs> so they're just not even trying to help you guys. No, out. it's like they immediately they see me. They start trying to beat me down. I have not died to one person though. So. So you're you're ruining other people's day. No, because I'm not going out of my way to kill them. <laughs> I'm not attacking them. They come at me. Yeah. They're dying, though. All right. All right. I mean, it's $2. Um, is it anything like uh, DayZ? I've never played DayZ, honestly. Or like, um, like I said, the game, you, you, there's item management. Matter of fact, I'm sorry. I didn't mean DayZ. I meant State of Decay. Is it anything like State of Decay? If you like State of Decay, you might like this game because I do. Hey man, two dollars. I love I love State of the Gate, but um, uh, kinda, cause there's there's a your equipment and your weapons they degrade over time. The more mm-hmm. you use it, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so they break. You can't fix them. You have to find some other stuff. You gotta find new things. Yes. God, man, that's. Yeah. I, 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 never, I never I never know how to feel about those sort of mechanics. Where it's like, listen, if we're gathering resources, right, and then something breaks, I should be able to fix it with the resources I've got. I thought the same thing. Yeah. But there's not, I have not found enough resources for me to even build through the tutorial yet. You're still in the tutorial? Technically, I'm pretty sure I'm still in the tutorial because I'm still talking to the dog from the beginning. Is a dog at the beginning of the game? Yeah, he has a walkie-talkie attached to him, so you're talking to somebody. And the dog's supposed to teach you how to play the game, but I'm still going through that because I just don't have enough resources to finish building everything. I mean, it can't be too much of a tutorial if there's, like, people invading your game or... Are they invading you? Is it like I mean, Dark Souls? No. Um, I think they could attack you, but you have to build a tower for that to happen. I'm not building that tower. <laughs> You're you just know. gonna. Yeah. Like, if 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 building the tower had allows them to attack me, I'm not building that, and I'm not gonna take the chance to build that. Yeah. Oh, okay. You but, rather just not go through that sort of heartbreak. Yes, because I don't want to come back home and then all of the resources that I've gathered, gone. Wait. So they can attack you even when you're not playing a game? I'm assuming so. Like, like I said, I personally haven't attacked anybody like that because you need to build the tower. But right. I have ran into them during my scavenges. And I think you tweeted at the developers, right? Uh, oh, yeah, because uh, there's certain parts where you go to the third-person camera. Mm-hmm. And 
I don't know about you guys, but I only play inverted. Nah, I play inverted too. Like for sure. That that is my thing. Inverted aiming. Yeah. So looking up to look up to me it makes no sense. Oh yeah, yeah. You you have your own theory, but so wait, it doesn't have inverted aiming. No. Ah oh, man. Ah. I mean, you don't really need it because yeah. you don't. It's not. There's no free aim in it. It's it's pretty much a locked camera when you have a a gun. Yeah. But this just feels weird when I'm trying to look down and I accidentally look up. Like honestly, so... it's just my it's my only real complaint about the game is the lack of inverted aiming. But the Got thing you. is, you can't aim in the game. Mm-hmm. But you mean you look down, and then you look down when you use a control stick, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, for two dollars though, hopefully, they were having some server issues, right? I think the Saturday that it, uh, the Saturday after it came out, yes. I wonder if that's because they sold a little more than they expected or not. I mean, their tweet said it did. Oh yeah. Yeah, the tweet yeah. was uh that they're having issues because the game was more popular than they thought it was gonna be. Hey, yeah, that's cool. I mean, I see you playing it, you're enjoying it. So, I mean, if you're enjoying it, listen, everybody. It's hard for this man to enjoy and a game, but two dollars. I'd say throw. It's not hard. Give, give it a shot for two dollars, you know. It's not hard for me to enjoy. I enjoy games. I don't enjoy AAA games like that, though. That's true. That's true. But game for two dollars. Resource management. Dawn of Survivors on eShop. Do you know if it's on anything else? I, not sure actually. I haven't looked it up. Ah, yeah, fuck it. Get it on the Nintendo Switch. So, that was just a little bit about the games that we were playing. I don't know if there were too many games announced this past week. But they did announce, I want to give a quick shout out to this game called Project Nimbus. It's on Steam now, but it's coming to Switch. It's a mech action game. You know, Damon X Machina is coming out when? Uh, I don't know. God, man, but that, that I demo. Have they given that no, I'm saying, I'm just talking about more of a year, but. No, oh, this year then. This year? Yeah, oh, I'm ready for it, man. Year. You know, that demo got me hyped for, for mech action games. Um, I love Gundam. Project Nimbus is coming out, I think, next month. Yeah, it's coming out next month. And I'm ready for it. And also, I just read, Nintendo UK released a video about Super Mario Maker 2. And if you pre-order, they're going to give you a stylus. A Mario Maker 2 theme stylus. And God, I hope we could get that in America. Because I, I would actually pre-order the game if I get a stylus like that. Is the stylus... Is, it that, is that a different bundle from the other one they announced? What other one? There was one with, there's a bundle they announced with, a, a, I think, a diorama and a carpenter's pencil. Really? Yes. Oh, that, I haven't, I personally, I haven't even heard about that one, actually. But um, I know they're, they're making the bundle with the stylus and a 12-month Nintendo membership. Oh, okay, okay. I looked it up. It's a, it's a carpenter's pad and pencil set with Super Mario Maker 2. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. But yeah, other than that, I don't think too many... New games were announced this past week. The release date for Mario Maker, that's about it. June 20th? Yes. Oh, well, I'm not, I'm not saying you, you would have to look that up, but... I think I got it right here, actually. June 28th, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, June 20th. Alright. You getting that? Mario Maker 2? Hell yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it physically or digitally, though. But I think physical might be the way if the stylus comes with it. Alright. So with all that being said, I think that about wraps it up for us here at Applesauce. Um, I just want to say, I don't feel like I was too prepared for this week. Like I said, we're still building, we're still working on everything, but that one's on me. Uh, Next week, I'll definitely try to be a little bit more ready with more news, you know, more opinions of what we're doing here. And also, we set up a Twitter and Instagram, so follow us there. We you can find us at Twitter. At Applesauce Cast and on Instagram at Applesauce Pod. Unfortunately, Applesauce Podcast was taken on both platforms. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, <And> anyway, <laughs> it's Applesauce Cast, C A S, right? C A S T on oh. Twitter and Instagram, Applesauce Pod, spelled how you probably spell that. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, that's going to be all from us. And remember, uh, keep playing. And stay happy. Bye.